Go to the Daily Star, uh, uh, Cressida, and I got to say, I do <laughs> love this photo. The Daily Star can be very witty with its little placement it's there. I don't know if you can it's see so it good. up on the screen, it... but there's a very they, they've got the eye boxes, and uh, they've just put it on the back of her head. Yeah, it's very it's funny. They're funny people. Brilliant. What's the other story, though? The other story is about Boris Becker, uh, the three-time Wimbledon champion. I don't know if you've heard of him. Mm -hmm. um, he's been freed from prison after serving eight months of his two-and-a-half-year sentence. Um, he was jailed in April for illicitly transferring large amounts of money and hiding assets and mm. loans worth about two and a half million after he was declared bankrupt. Uh, so he's going to be deported from Britain back to his native Germany. Um, and the reports are that he's going to give uh, a tell-all interview back in Germany mm. uh, to a Munich-based broadcaster as part of a six-figure deal. So wow. I think so all that money's back. I think he'll be OK. <laughs> yeah. I think he's been chatting to Harry and Meghan. He's got some but plans. Leo, this is good news, surely, for immigration, right? We've got one person... <laughs> <off>. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's, it's a shame that these criminals are out in the streets so quickly and free mm. to do their... their he's not. He's been sent back. <laughs> he's gone. Free to do their tennis commentary again. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, he's obviously got a lot of children to, to pay child maintenance for, so, I mean, it's good that he's out and earning again. Well, I can relate to that.